Hi crafters, I thought it would be nice to do a s s slightly different video than you're used to from me because I thought it would be nice to craft together with you. So if you think this is boring, just skip this video. It's just as simple as that. Um, what I did was a little bit of prep work. I cut, die cut my 3D envelope out. And I like to assemble it together with you. So um, the video will not be only showing what I made. I will do uh, things like this. So when you buy the cutting die you will get all these pieces. Together with special delivery. The hearts, the mailbox, the... Um, uh, how do you call it? A, a background die, a frame. It's all in the set. So what I did not cut yet are these two pieces, the rest I, I cut already, so it saves me a little bit of boring watch time. <laughs> but um, I just thought it would be nice to craft together with you for, for once. I had the time this morning, so I thought, well, see it as a, as a small token of my appreciation that you all buy my designs so much. Um, so now I have to figure out what I'm doing. <laughs> what I personally like to do is when I die cut it, uh, the pieces out, is make sure that I use the right uh, width of tape. You know, I love my Sukwang tape and I have to figure out what I'm doing right now. This part will be attached to here, so I need to use a slightly thinner tape and I think my cat's chewed on the <coughs> red side. I have a cat called Lotje. Uh, it means something like um, lucky or lottery ticket. It, it, it has something to do with uh, my previous cat I, that I had. She is in heaven right now but um, she was called Pebbles and um, I always called her Pebbelotje, so <laughs> I know it sounds really strange, but in Dutch it, it's not so odd to pronounce it. And uh, so her nickname was Lotje. And after she died, I missed her so much that um, when I got the other cat, I called her after my... A uh, cat that is now in heaven. She was all white. Uh, she was so sweet. But I'm a cat lover. I also like dogs, don't get me wrong. But I'm more a cat person. And crafting with me makes for me it possible to show you how I <laughs> fiddle with <laughs> things that I design myself. <laughs> See? Now I want to cut it off and I'm a little bit nervous because this is my first time to doing it like this and craft on video but I think I need to have uh, sorry no I think it's fun for me to show you how I make my designs so I can show them in videos and this is what I do and that you don't see normally on a video. And if you think it's boring, okay, that's fine. Just skip this video. It's not, uh, not a problem at all. The only thing you have to do is cut this part a little bit longer because there are score lines in them. They could not make this part uh, flip up. So I hope you see that what I did was just uh, put in a little snip but I don't think that is a problem to do for us crafters, right? And then I'm going to fold on all the score lines. And after that, for me, it's more obvious where I need to put my tape. And here you have to make a little snip also. So only in the top and the bottom, or top, bottom, whatever. You get my point. And then I need to fold at this fold line. So, 
like this and then the only flap that's left is this one and then I will take my tape and if you hear some funny noises my cat is uh, my cat Lodge is now looking outside I have a window right there and um, she's always looking for birds and when she sees birds and she wants to grab them, she always makes funny noises. <laughs> so if you hear funny noises, it's not me, it's her. <laughs> it's really early in the morning here. And um, I did it at, on purpose really early in the morning. Just because I'm afraid that our new neighbors will come and go send their uh, window frames. The build they had made is ready so they have an extension on their house into the backyard and uh, that part is ready so the building noise noises are gone but now they are um, finishing the inside of the house and they need to send all the window frames and normally they come in the afternoon and work on their house and then I'm not able to make uh, videos. See sometimes I use liquid glue and sometimes I use my tape roller. If you want to know I use the tape rollers from Tombow just because I know it's more, uh, faster and I'm avoiding getting a wonky envelope. How do you say that? A too wet envelope that it will bubble. Well, I think you know what I mean. So this is the second part. Then this part I will do it with the liquid glue again. Because that's more easy. And I filled it up this morning, my bottle. But it doesn't want to cooperate really fine. <laughs> and I'm so thankful to all of you who leave me comments. Uh, sometimes I'm reading them and my husband says, Why are you sitting there and smiling at your phone? And then I say, Well, honey, it's just because I'm proud. Proud of what I do. Proud of the fact that you all buy my designs. Trust me. It's, an, it's such a big honor when people appreciate what you do. And, and I put in so many hours each day, seven days a week, else I couldn't make so many designs. And then to see that you all buy my designs, like them, enjoy them, that's really important to me. Um, it makes me feel proud. And I owe it all to you. So that's why I smile a lot to my uh, to my phone. Sorry, <laughs> thinking, thinking, and, <laughs> and trying putting things together is not easy. I'm telling you. <laughs> and then take off the backings. And maybe it's smarter to do it this way. This tab you fold over and you fold over this tab. Whoa, come. Work with me please. I know you're on the video, but you don't have to need to be shy. <laughs> yes, we crafters are all a little bit crazy, right? <laughs> I hope you understand what I mean because I think I'm not the only crafter who uh, sometimes talks to herself while crafting. <laughs> I hope I'm not the only silly one who does it. Especially when things don't work like I like them to work. Oh, trust me. My husband sometimes needs to laugh so hard <laughs> that he, he asks me, what are you doing? Oh, well, I'm talking to myself. <laughs> And then you can close the envelope and it will look like this. 
then you can put in a card that's more bulky and I think that is lovely and if you are smart put your bone folder inside because then you can press it down to your glue flaps and, and now I'm trying to do it on the bottom side but I think it's more smarter to use the end of my bone folder to press it down so and then my envelope will be shut and then you can use these flaps to prevent people from be able to watch inside of the envelope and then it will look like this see how stunning and then I put in a few words and I will try to put them on here I think this is so fun um, I will see what I think oh this is a nice spot to put it on and what I did is I die cut it out of white and out of um, design paper and now I'm going to stick those two together and I really really like my little tiny bottle because it makes for me crafting a lot easier when you do stuff like this I don't like the sprays, the glue sprays I know they are out there and I have a, um, a can with uh, spray adhesive but I don't like it the smell of it the mess I, I get sticky fingers from it My uh, a girlfriend of mine, uh, she is doing, uh, I have to think what it's called, um, oh, I can't think and, and, and craft at the same time, um, how is it called, I don't know, oh. with the inks, and, and blending and that you get all the dirty fingers I like what she makes I honestly do but it's not my kind of crafts I like to be neat and tidy and having my fingers all oh, with covered with ink and glue and oh I hate it <laughs> It's not my thing. I like to see it, what they make, because some, oh, they are so talented. But it's not something that I personally like to do, just because of the mess. So, now they are stuck together. So now this part is a slightly bit thicker. And you could do an extra layer if you want to have it even more thicker than this but I think two layers is more than enough and I I think it's fun for me to answer a few of the most asked questions that I got sometimes I incorporate them into short videos so you have your answers and I don't have to answer the same question each and every time I don't mind but um, I wished I had more time to show you guys my appreciation by helping you out with questions or assembling videos um, and while I'm telling this I think that it's smart for you guys to uh, keep an eye on a new design team member called Tracy and I will put her YouTube link in the description box below because uh, within a few days, I think after Easter she will do a fun tutorial about my double-sided frame she made a stunning one trust me, you will be pleasantly surprised if you, will, if you uh, see what she made she already showed it to me because she wanted to know what I thought but oh my goodness she is amazing and what I like about Tracy if you will see her videos because she just started uh, being in the design team so she doesn't have videos yet where she 
um, shows the things she makes with the dies I designed, but um, she will she is going to do them and you will be shocked about her talent, really. So now I have all the letters and what I'm going to do is put a little bit of glue inside. And the fun thing, because I use Tombow glue in this bottle, Lodgy, you have to stay there. My cat uh, is curious about the noise that my tip of my glue bottle makes onto my paper. And she has a thing for glue. Um, behind me I have a roll where you can uh, tape uh, boxes with. I know you know the tape roller. And each morning when I open the door to my craft ro room, the first thing oh, the first thing she does is go to the tape roller and lick on the tape. Really honestly, she is crazy about the smell of tape. And if you're wondering what kind of tool I use, I use a Marvi Jewel picker. Uh, no, nope, this one needs to go here. See, it's just like a puzzle. Oh, <laughs> uh, just a mistake. And now I need to be quick <laughs> before it sticks down, and I can't take it off. Oh. People always think that I don't make mistakes. Trust me, I make so many. If you could see me craft during the day, <laughs> you will have a fun day laughing. But I was telling you about Tracy. She is such a doll. She is good at doing her videos. The way she does it, I like it very much, but that's my personal opinion. Um, she has a calm voice. And the way she does her tutorials, yeah, I think she needs a lot of credit for it. Because I know how uh, much time it takes to prepare and she's good at editing videos and I'm not. But you can't be good at anything, right? Of at everything, right? And then a little dab of glue inside the heart and then I need to find it. See how lovely it looks? Oh, I love this one. I really, really, really do. And then I need to put in all the small parts because I'm fiddly like that. I like things to be neat. And this one is for the D. Oh, come on. Work with me. <laughs> See, the struggle is real. And then this is for the P. And this teeny tiny bit is for the letter A. See how nice that looks. Oh, I love it so much. And then inside, there are these hearts. And I had visioned myself putting them here so oh I see I forgot a piece oh yeah I found it and the glue is already in there so and what's this oh that's the white one so and this one I would like to do here then I have the two little ones I can put them here but Hmm. I like it like this, so I leave them out. And at the front I like to do my mailbox. And I think I'm going to use uh, a frame for, for on the front. And now I'm putting this one inside of the R. See how lovely it looks. And what I wanted to show you is how lovely the frame looks and the background. So I'm going to tidy up a little bit so I have some space 
I will take out and I also got questions what kind of machine I use. I use the Big Shot Foldaway. I like it. For almost 10 years I owned um, a Cuddlebug and after my Cuddlebug was totally worn out, worn out, I switched over to the Foldaway because the Cuddlebug, I, I ordered a new one. But the Cuddlebug was was not to my standard. It 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 cuts horribly. It, it didn't press well. And I thought is if there is one good uh, brand, it is Big Shot. So Sizzix Big Shot. So I bought myself the fold away. And oh my goodness, I wished I used it sooner. Now I'm going to. I cut it. I know I need to do it a little bit more inside of the video, but trust me, I'm just cutting it out. And it's such a well made machine. It's, it feels really sturdy, more sturdy than the Cuddlebug is. And I do not regret buying it. Oh, Cut so nice, see? Now I have to take it out of the die in order for me to show it. And then you can put of course your frame around it, but I thought it was nice to have a background die that fits perfectly on top of the front. See how nice it cuts? Oh, I like things like this. <laughs> it makes me exciting because Sometimes you have dies that don't cut well. See, it looks like this. And I will go and die cut a frame. And maybe it's smart for me to do the frame in... What color would I use? I think... I love in white. I don't know. <laughs> I will do it from this piece of paper. I don't have any white paper on hand then I need to go and get it and that's boring for the video so I will die cut it so you can see how it looks forgive me that I do it in brown paper and craft paper but I want you to, sh to see how stunning it looks after you die cut it And then, when you die cut it, you will, you will be left with a piece like this that you can use instead of the background die. And you will be left with the frame. But now I have to find... Oh! Yes! See? Now it comes out of my frame. And it will look like this. So you can use it as a frame. And if you're smart... In, and um, you can even die cut it a few times and then pop them up um, on top of each other. Sorry, I need to, to think about it. And make a picture frame. It could be a picture frame. The possibilities are endless. See, and that's how it looks on the back side if you die cut them. And this is how it looks when... When you uh, do the effort to die cut the special delivery one. And for you who want to know the measurements of this envelope. In inches the envelope will hold a card that is uh, 4 and 3 quarters by 4 and 3 quarters. And the width of the envelope is almost... Um, this is a half an inch so that's a quarter inch high. And I think that's so fun to have an envelope where you can put in a little bit bulkier cards. I couldn't make this part thicker, then I would lose this, the big size of the envelope. So it was for me a um, pick the best way. So I wanted to have it bigger, the, the, the card base, and then uh, uh, slightly thinner than I would like because I would Personally, I would like it thick like this, so half an inch. But then 
it will not fit into a die of in a into a normal die cutting machine. So I hope you like the envelope. I hope you like the fact that I craft with you. Um, if you like it, please give me a thumbs up. That way I know that uh, you would love to see me do more videos like this where I don't show you only what I made with the cutting die but how I put all the things together. So let me know your uh, opinion. I will, I will not be offended by anything but let me know. I'm, uh, I'm learning too. I, I'm learning to know you guys. I'm, I like to know what you like and what you don't like and so tell me no problem. Have a really nice day to all of you and thank you for watching this video. Bye bye.